Hi everyone, I just wanted to tell you a little story. Um, so we have these three sunflowers and they've all gotten to be a little over 10 feet tall and they just had dozens and dozens of sunflowers on them. And on each of the dozens and dozens of sunflowers, there were always at least three or four bees. And we couldn't figure out why these bees, which are so docile and just, they just, they're just cool. They just hang out. Like the kids walk over here and pet them. Um, and we looked it up because we weren't sure why there were so many bees, just no matter what time of day, just hanging out here. Couldn't, couldn't get them off the plants if we wanted to. Like, Sayla picked one of these sunflowers and ran around the backyard for like two hours with it the whole time she didn't realize that there was a bee just enjoying the ride. So it turns out that these bees, uh, male bees don't have, uh, they don't live in the hive. They just find a, there's a wasp. Thanks waspy. I'm gonna let it leave me alone in a second. Anyways, um, oh my God, wasp, go away. Okay, talking about the bee. So um, it turns out that male wasps or sorry, male bees do not have, uh, they don't live in the hive. They just find a flower and they live out their life there. And so just with the number of bees that we had, um, it was, it was just kind of cool to have so many, like a, like a little bee fraternity living in our sunflowers. Like seriously, they're so chill. I can pet this guy. Let's see if I can do it with this other stuff in my hand. Didn't even care. So, um, so I'm out here today and it's a rainy day, but it's, you know, it's been a rainy week and it's not stopped them at all from living in our, be in our sunflowers. Um, and this is the only guy that I can find and he looks kind of drunk. Uh, he's kind of staggering around. They're usually a little bit more active than this and they're certainly a little more graceful. Um, but then Dave reminded me that last night they sprayed for mosquitoes and they insist that, uh, because they spray at night, bees are not harmed by the spray, uh, that they use on the mosquitoes. Uh, but I'm going to have to beg to differ because where did all the bees go? The bees have been living here for weeks now, rainy days cold days, hot days, through a drought, it didn't matter. There were dozens and dozens, if not hundreds and hundreds of bees living here. And now there's just this one guy. So when your village tells you that spraying for mosquitoes do not affect the local bee life, they're lying to you because it absolutely does.